complete information clip, I'm going to show you what to look for in an appropriately selected body protector. Body protectors tend to come in two main styles, one with a zip front and ones that are a tabard shape. Back of our Laura here. So with Laura's assistance, I'm going to show you what I would look for for one that has been correctly sized for her. If you're placing one of these on, and particularly if it's quite new and stiff, it's quite helpful to put your thumbs in underneath the shoulders to bring it round and forwards, which makes it much easier to zip up. When you zip it up, make sure that the end of the zip is pointing downwards and then close it with the front section neatly like that. As you can see, there are marker location slots all over the garment and the idea of these is to indicate to you that the adequate coverage of foam is being made over the garment itself so it can give you as much protection as possible. So it's very important that these do not show and are adequately covered when your garment is being worn. in Laura thank you and just relax that just positions her comfortably in the garment and then I'm adjusting the sides so you can see now that all of the location markers have clearly been covered up and you can't see them at all if you have a garment at home that has these showing, it's either been incorrectly put, placed on and done up, or perhaps it's got too small and it will no longer fit and therefore you need to get a larger garment. So the things I would be looking for at the front are that the front of the body protector comes no higher than the top of her sternum, her breastbone, that in line with the shoulder straps, it covers by at least a half an inch or the length, if you like, from the tip of your finger to the first knuckle over the lowest part of the ribs at the bottom. As you turn around, that the back of the garment, that's not the material, but the actual garment foam itself, goes no higher than the protruding bone at the base of the neck. And at the lowest section of the garment, gives adequate protection, but is not so low that it can interfere or hinder your rider by impacting on the saddle. So to check that out, we've got a saddle here. So as Laura sits on the saddle and relaxes, I'm looking to have a hands clearance between the base of the body protector and the saddle itself. A very common mistake is to have the garment too long. And the trouble with that is, particularly is if you go forward into a jumping position with your hands on the reins, Laura, as your rider looks up going forwards, two things can happen. You can either have the garment that's catching on the back of the saddle as over a drop fence, or you can have it so high that it's actually interfering with the back of the riding helmet. So thank you very much. Um, if you were to have a garment that was too long, I'll just show you what that would be like. So just take that one off for a moment. on the saddle. With this garment you can see that there's very very little space between the bottom of the garment and the saddle itself so it is in fact too long. Thank you Laura. For any information, help and advice please go and shop with a Beta retail member who will have been trained by Beta in riding hat and body protector fitting. For a list of our members that have received this training please search beta-uk.org that's b-e-t-a-uk.org Thank you.